Hey, everybody. Sang, I know you. You're Bonnie the Dinosaur from the Bonnie and Friends franchise. And how did you know that? My family and I have been watching your show for years, and we're big fans. Well, we used to be. That was until the show got canceled in 2010. Yeah, but did you know they're doing a remake of the show, like a reboot or something this year in 2017? I'll answer that. Actually, yes. There is going to be a remake of my show this year. Stay tuned to find out where it's going to end up. So it's going to end up in the trash? Let's just get on with the intro already. Ah, everybody! Welcome to another episode of Talking to Myself News. And we got ourselves some good stories to share with you today. So I heard that famous grunge rocker Chris Cornell recently killed himself this week. Am I hearing that right? Yeah, man. He was aged 52. And strangely enough, he was from Seattle. And what happened was... He finished the set list for a sound garden project or whatever the heck it was. And then later that night, he went to his room, his apartment or whatever, and he decided to overdose on pills. Ironically enough, that's what happened to my dad. Why are you shaking your head, man? It's something I don't like to admit personally. That's all. It's not really a big deal anyway. He's been gone for like 13 years. So it's not going to make a shit regardless. So apparently, suicide rates are the highest among middle-aged men. What? Are you kidding me? Well, hell, I guess that's why they call it a damn midlife crisis. Luckily, I overcame mine a long time ago, but I'm in my 60s now, so I don't give a shit. But what happened to our mother? Oh, my wife? She done died of cancer a long damn time ago during my midlife crisis. I think that's what started my midlife crisis to begin with. And I ain't just whistling Dixie. Oh, you mean Dick C? That was a joke. Damn, man, you can be downright offensive, son, you know that? Sorry. And now let's look at a few toys who are actually worse. Then garbage! Yeah, let's start this up. So, what about stuffed animals? What the hell are these things still selling for anyway? Like 20, 30, 40 bucks a pop or what? I mean, they're selling on TV now. Strangely, these stuffed animals are only used 1% of the time and the other 99% of the time, the kids that use them don't use them and instead use something else in general, like playing a video game, going outside to mow the lawn, doing chores, going to school, doing homework, all that shit there. So it was never a secret to begin with, was it? Hell no! You just got a message from John, Kevin. Yeah, I know that. I already sent him a reply. It was basically a one-worder. Hey, look at this! What are these character branded toys? What the fuck? Why the hell do character branded toys sell anyway? I mean, by the time you get them a Daniel Tiger stuffed animal, they don't want it no more. Then when you get to the Paw Patrol animal and give it to them, they want to go on to Doc McStuffins. And then to make matters worse, once they get a Doc McStuffins toy, they want to go and get like a Mabel or a Dipper toy from Gravity Falls. And then they might get like a Phineas or Ferb or a Perry the Platypus thing from the store from Toys R Us or Babies R Us or some of that shit. But it's still not going to make a damn. Exactly. Here's what bothers me. 99% of all children's books are based on some television or movie media promoted by some damn Illuminati scumbag for the Illuminati. Now, how the hell do you explain that? There's too much shit here. Needless to say, the books are absolute shite. They shouldn't be bought. Don't buy them. What do you think 
thing in this, Kevin? They're all shit. Shit from the fucking crap toilet. It's garbage at best. Seriously, don't, folks. Don't buy them. Or you remember this one time where I actually got some kind of plastic birthday favor bag or something. It was a long time ago, and I don't really remember it. That's probably because you never got one, Willis. Really? I didn't know that. And I don't even care. I mean, hell, you might as well put another handful of characters in the damn thing and be done with it. Oh, let me get this straight. You ever heard of those hot toys of the holiday season that no one gives a shit about? Absolutely, I've heard of them. Well, it turns out that they're just a fad. And I'm not a very smart person. Hell, I'm not even smart at all. I don't have shit for brains anyway. But at least I know that these hot toys of the holiday season aren't nothing more than a piece of shit. Yeah, I'd have to agree with that. Me too. Definitely. Oi! Oi, totally agree with that. And now, here's some breaking news from Lorraine Bay. Thanks, Walter. Apparently, all the small pieces are just a part of a toy that's not worth having. Back to you, Walter. Thanks, Lorraine. And catch some more Lorraine Bay on television on your old school 1951 Motorola TV. Motorola TV. Motorola TV. Ah, shut the hell up and let's move on. And what about all those obnoxious kitty instruments that you find in the toy section of a Toys R Us? I mean, it's not any good anyway. I remember having one before when I was like five. I never liked it, not even once. So I told my mom and dad to bring it back to the score for a full refund. Yeah, but what happened after that? My parents said that the 30-day, uh, what's it called? I, I can't remember what it's called. It's a 30-day refund fee, you dumbass. Right. So apparently my parents at the time told me that the 30-day refund period had already passed. So we both had to throw it in the trash. What? You mean you were your parents? Yeah, something like that. They never did anyone any good any fucking way. Nothing worse than a piece of shit. Oh, and what about those kitty xylophones? You know I like to play on them. You can play on them all you want, kid. Just don't do it in front of me. All right, sounds good. I'll be in my room taking care of business if you're all right with that, Dad. Yeah, I'm fine. Do whatever the hell you want, buddy. Nobody's going to be bothered by it. We got soundproof walls all over the damn place. Soundproof walls? The hell do you mean? You know, the insulation that's used for high quality music recording studios? You know, things like that. Uh... Yeah. Hey, I remember these Play-Doh toys that I used to get at the store. Sometimes I used to stick these Play-Doh toys in my mouth and it tasted exactly like food. At best, it tasted like edible sand. Why the hell would you want to eat some damn Play-Doh for, man? You done lost your mind, sir? Yeah, I lost my mind a long time ago. Don't ask me why. I mean, no one gives a shit about that damn Play-Doh anyway. Why the hell kids still want to mess with that shit? I have no idea. There's too much shit here. You got that right, man. And with that, let's just get the hell out of here and fuck it. Yeah, we're gonna hit it and quit it. That's a Raj reference from the Big Bang Theory. Ah, shit. I hope those damn copyright Nazis don't get us for this. They won't. We'll just label this video under a Creative Commons license and go from there. I mean, it's real simple. You know? Yeah, I guess that would work. Now do me a favor and fuck off. Okay. See you later, guys.